Before I read you Katie and the Bathers, I'm going to tell you a little bit, and the information is in the back of this book, about pointillists. The painters Surat, Signac and Passaro were called pointillists. The pointillists liked to keep their colours pure, so they didn't mix them together before they applied them to the canvas. They painted their pictures entirely in dots, deliberately placing contrasting and complementary colours next to one another to create different effects. This painting style not only kept colours vivid, but seemed to capture both the scene and its atmosphere. At the time, many people didn't like the pointillist paintings. Perhaps they found them fuzzy or messy, but painting in the pointillist style took a long time and required a great deal of patience. Today, pointillism is loved by many. You might want to pause this and read more information here about three pointillists. These are the 1800s. On a sunny day, it was a sunny day and Katie and Grandma were feeling hot and bothered. Let's go swimming, said Grandma. I'll go and get my swimsuits. When they got to the pool, it was already full. Never mind, we'll come back later, said Grandma. The art gallery is nearby. Let's go there for a while. In the gallery, it felt even hotter. While Grandma had a little snooze, Katie found a room full of amazing pictures. They were painted in thousands of brightly coloured dots, which you now know is called pointillism. Katie saw a painting called Bathers in Asnieres. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, it's French, by Georges Surrett. She could almost feel the breeze blowing over the soft grass and hear the gurgling river. What a great place for a swim, thought Katie. So she climbed over the frame and inside the picture. It was warm and peaceful in the picture. The sun shone, oars smashed, uh, splashed, and a boy in a red hat called the boats racing in the river. Katie saw the little bathing hut and decided to change into her swimsuit. She then jumped into the water and with an enormous splash, Bonjour, said the boy in the red hat, I'm Jacques. I'm Katie. Isn't this lovely? Oui, laughed Jacques. Très bon. After lots of splashing, Katie sat down on the picture frame to rest, <gasps> but it started to tip. And the river began pouring into the gallery. This is, a better, this is better than a swimming pool, laughed Katie. But then they heard a sigh from another painting by Surat called Sunday Afternoon on the Island of La Grande Jette. Katie saw a little girl in a white dress. She looked rather sad. So Katie climbed inside the picture. Katie found herself in a park where everyone looked very elegant and grand. Oh, you are lucky, sighed the little girl. It's such a hot day, but no one is allowed to bathe in this painting. Come and paddle in the gallery, said Katie. It's lovely and cool. Oh, Prudence, please say yes, pleaded the girl to her governess. Well, be sure to keep your clothes dry, Josette, said Prudence. What a splendid idea, said the elegant, elegant people. Let's paddle too. The ladies hitched up their skirts and the gentlemen rolled up their trousers and then they all had a wonderful time paddling in the gallery. 
but water was still pouring out of this painting. It's getting too deep to paddle, said Josette, standing on the steps. How will we get back to our picture, said the elegant people. We can't swim in these clothes. Let's fetch a boat. Katie pointed to another picture by Surratt. It was called Port of Honfleur. Katie and Jacques swam over to the painting and quickly clambered inside. If I zoom in, you can see the pointillism. They found a little rowing boat in the harbour. It was quite heavy, but they managed to drag it over the frame and into the gallery. Then off they rowed to the rescue. We'll go first, said Prudence, helping Josette into the boat. But when it was her turn, her foot slipped and the boat moved away. Splash! Prudence fell in the water. Just look at my dress, she wailed. How will I ever get it dry? Perhaps she'll help, said Katie, pointing to a picture called Woman Hanging Up the Washing by Camille Pissarro. Prudence scrambled inside the painting, followed by Katie and Josette. Then Jacques rode off to the rescue to rescue the elegant people and take them back to their picture. If I move this really close to the camera, can you see the dress? We've created colour, but haven't actually mixed the colour. The kindly washerwoman gave Prudence some clothes to wear and hung out her wet dress to dry. Then Katie... Josette and the washerwoman's daughter played in the sun as the woman chatted. Suddenly, Katie heard Jacques calling from the boat. We must get back to our pictures. The guard is coming. <gasps> the guard, gasped Katie. He'll be horrified when he sees all the water. Quickly, jump aboard, called Jacques. Prudence changed back into her clothes and carefully stepped into the boat and Katie and Josette leapt in after her. Jacques rowed across the gallery while Katie desperately tried to think of a way to get rid of the water. They passed all sorts of pictures. None of them looked useful. Then Katie saw a painting by Paul Signac called Portrait of Felix Fenion. I wonder how they're going to use that to help them get rid of the water. <gasps> he looks like a magician, said Katie. So she yelled, excuse me, can you do any magic? The gallery is a mess and the guard is coming. Felix wanted to help. So he leant out of the painting, waved his stick over his hat and shouted, abracadabra. Colour swirls came out of his picture, but the gallery was still flooded. I'll try again. Alagazam! Oh dear, said Felix. And stars and rainbows floated into the gallery. I'm not very good at magic. Just then they heard the footsteps. It was the guard. Oh, please try once more, big Katie. Alagazoom! Clear up this room, said Felix. It was a flash of light and everything vanished in a swirl of stars and colours. Katie found she was standing in her dry clothes. Everyone and everything was back where it belonged, just in time. The 
guard looked carefully around the room, everything was exactly as it should be. Thank you, everyone, whispered Katie. I've had a wonderful time. As soon as the guard had gone, Katie gently woke up Grandma. Would you like to go swimming now, yawned Grandma. Um, I don't feel quite so hot anymore, laughed Katie. In that case, we, you won't be wanting an ice cream either, said Grandma. Oh, I can always manage an ice cream, said Katie. Me too, smiled Grandma. And off they went. Perhaps you'd be interested in looking at the styles of artwork that you see day to day. See if you can see any pointillism. Maybe try some yourself.